Hey guys! So well, anyway, I'm just going to jump right on in. So today's tutorial is going to be a prom makeup tutorial. I even have on my little version of a prom dress. Isn't it so cute? Yes. Love it. Um, of course I don't have a damn prom dress around anymore. Are you kidding me? So, whenever I was thinking about doing a prom look, I was thinking like, I want it to be completely opposite of what I wore to prom because back then, I didn't know a damn thing about makeup and I'm sure probably a lot of people in high school still don't. Um, as I was saying that, I'm literally rethinking that. No, I'm actually sure probably people know a lot more nowadays. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well. Whatever, there are like 13 year olds that look like they're 30, which kind of creeps me out, but we're just going to move on and move past that, okay? So, <laughs> but anyway, whenever I was thinking about prom, I was thinking I want to go completely opposite of what I did. So, for me, that is going to be a beat face. I'm wanting to go all out, complete cake face, bronzed goddess kind of a look, and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I kind of have an idea of where I want to take this, but not really. I'm going to still kind of wing it for the most part. And of course you guys are welcome to join me for this ride. We're going to see if it's going to turn out okay or not. I don't know, fingers crossed. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and start, okay? So the very most important part about a look or a look that you want to last for a long time in general is priming your skin, okay? That's something that I most certainly did not do whenever I was going to prom or anything important actually, for that matter. If you want your makeup to hang out with you for as long as you plan on being out, because I'm sure if you were anything like me, prom's gonna last all night long. So, I'm going to start off with the Benefit Professional and follow that up with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. I'm gonna use both of them to make this skin flawless. Okay, awesome. So now that we are nice and primed, let's go ahead and start focusing on our foundation. So, if you're anything like me, Whenever you go to a fancy event, you want to go all out when it comes to the products that you use. And whenever I think of going all out, I think of literally the fanciest, bougiest stuff that I've got. So, for foundation, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the fanciest, bougiest foundation that I've got. <laughs> Which, that would be the Dior Air Flash Foundation. This stuff, it was sent to us from Jesus. I swear to God it was. I do not use it on a daily basis. That would be stupid even though I want to, but uh -huh, I can't live like that. So I literally preserve it for special occasions. This fictional prom is a special occasion. We just give her a shake. It's literally like graffiti in your face. It's gonna be awesome. Whew, well ventilated areas are a must with this. So I'm just gonna be taking the Morphe uh, M439 brush to buff it in. But you know what I think I want to do? I think I want to take the bouginess up to the very next level. And I want to go in with another extremely bougie foundation. Just for a tiny bit more coverage and a little bit more color. So I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I'm just going to take it kind of in the T-zone area. We're just going to buff it in too because why not? There's no rules. It's prom. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to color correct. I don't know where this British accent comes from. It just comes out of nowhere sometimes. But what I'm going to use is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I use mine in the shade Dark. It's literally meant for people of a completely different race than I am. I like what it looks like, so I use it anyway. And nobody can tell me I can't. So I'm just picking up any old little flat top brush. Or not flat top, just like a little shader brush. And we are just going to paint it where we have a dark circle located. So are you guys super excited to go to your prom? I can tell you that I was super excited to go each year that I went. I only went my junior and senior year. Um, and I was super excited to go both years. And my junior year was actually a pretty good time. Um, really not too many complaints. I had a pretty good time. Um, however, my senior year was hell. The best advice that I can choose is make sure you pick the right person to go to prom with. So I'm just taking a beauty blender to buff that in. But yeah, like if I had prom to do all over again, I would 110,000% go by myself. 110,000%. Or with like a really close friend. Yeah. So if you don't have a date, no worries. You're probably going to have way more fun than the people who do bring a date because I guarantee they will be into a fight 
before they even go through walkthrough. If you're gonna spend all this time to beat your face and put on that dress, put on all this makeup, put on those damn shoes because we all know none of those shoes are comfortable. Shit, maybe walkthrough is a good idea. I should have just went down it by myself. Should have been like, look at me. Everybody look at me. Oh damn, that's a good idea. I hope somebody out there does that and please if you do, send me, like have somebody video it. Like show me your moment because I wanna see. I wanna see it. That's actually a great idea. So, someone do that for me, please. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to conceal. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I use mine in the shade Light Warm. So a lot of you are probably thinking, Morgan, why do you conceal your forehead? Like, why are you highlighting your seven head? Because I want to. It's a pretty good answer. I just want to. So screw off if you don't like it. There. That's why. And then I'm just going to take the exact beauty blender and buff it all in. Because I'm wanting this makeup to literally last the entire evening long, I'm going to do something which I normally don't do and that is big. So I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Yes. Everybody's heard of this and if you haven't, crawl out of the hole that you've been in for the past six months and join the rest of us. So I'm just going to put some into the cup. Take that damp beauty blender and we are going to set and start cooking. Yes. Oh, I haven't done this in forever. So we're going to turn this up to like 450. Set the timer on like five minutes and just let her cook. And I'm like pushing it down as I am distributing just to make sure that there are no lines. There isn't going to be any creasing going on. And I'm just gonna take whatever I have extra and put it on the other areas that I've highlighted. While we're cooking, what I'm going to do is another super bougie thing that I normally don't do on a day-to-day -day basis. But like I said, it's prom and we're going all out. So I am going to cream bronze my face first before I ever bronze anything else because I think I want this tutorial to be obnoxiously bronzed. I know there's one thing that I did before every prom and that was tan the shit out of my skin. Like I spent more of my time in a tanning bed than I did anywhere else which is horrific but whatever. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing so even though my skin is not nearly as tan as it was back in that time we're just gonna pretend like it is. So I'm just gonna do my best to color coordinate everything but um I'm gonna pack on the bronzing. We're going to look like we just came from Tahiti to this prom. Like we took a flight from Tahiti and wound up at your prom. So I'm gonna be using the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Bye Chanel. Bougie, bougie shit. This is what it looks like. I've used it actually a lot. So what I'm going to use to apply this to my face is a Luxie 512 brush. So I'm just going to dip my brush into the bronzer. And I'm just going to literally apply it where I would any other bronzer. And this is where I make my seven head turn into like at least a four or a five. Okay, so I think now that we are pretty buffed in, it's pretty natural, a natural looking bronze if you ask me. Um, that's why I really like this stuff. Definitely a um, special occasion type of product. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just kind of buff it in, keep the naturalness going. So I'm going to take a duo fiber brush and we're just going to brush away any of the extra baking powder. <laughs> awesome, okay. So now that we have got that nice and set, I'm going to actually set my entire face and I'm going to use the Cap on D Lock It Powder Foundation in the shade Light 49. I suggest even if you don't normally powder your face or set your face with powder on a daily basis, you do that for tonight because you'll thank me later. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be taking this behemoth of a brush. Look at this beast. So anyway, it's called a dusting and powder brush brand, the Vintage Cosmetic Company. Love this company, have a few brushes by them. They're amazeballs. So we're just going to dive on in and set everything. So the next thing I'm going to do is probably just bronze the bejesus out of my face. So I think that's what we're going to do and I'm going to use a brand new product that I just picked up and I'm thanking the heavens above that I did. Thank you Jesus for sending this to me. 
This is the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronze. Looks like this. It's absolutely stunning. I need a new bronzer in my life. I literally went through the Chocolate Soleil like it was nobody's business. I'm just going to take a Kabuki brush. Whoa! Throw it across the universe. And then just pack on 10 pounds of bronzer. So I'm just going to take the dual fiber brush and just kind of run it along everywhere just to seamlessly blend everything into everything else. Okay, so next thing I am going to do is we're going to contour. And we're going to contour the hell out of our face. So to do that, to accomplish the contour that we would like, is you have to speak in an English accent. Just kidding, you don't have to do that. But what we are actually going to do is use the Cavan du Shaden Light Palette. As you can see, I have a few favorite shades. But anyway, I'm going to use the shade Subconscious. Yeah, Subconscious. It's this shadow, or this shade right here on the end. It's kind of the ashy, cool-toned contour shade. Even though I'm going for a warm face, I do want the cool tone in it, just to kind of tone it all down a little bit, and just to make it look a little bit more bitchy, which is totally what you want. And I am actually using the Cap on Shade and Light brush, the dual-ended brush, too achieve that. So I'm just taking it literally from the top of the ear down and I'm kind of doing it aggressively because I want it to be as sharp and defined as possible. So we're going to just do the exact same thing to the other side and then what I like to do is take it up around the forehead the same as we would with a bronzer and then I do the exact same thing to snatch the nose just down the sides of the nose because I want to look like I had a rhinoplasty yesterday morning and my nose is now tiny, petite, and straight as hell. And I'm just doing literally the exact same thing on the jawline because we are hiding that double chin. She's not invited to prom. Like there's only room for myself and that's it. Now that we are nice and bronze, I'm going to use a dual fiber brush again and just do a quick blend. And let's go ahead and do some blush. And I want to stick with the bronzing theme, so I'm going to use this brand new NYX Ombre Blush in the shade Nude to Me. This is what she looks like. Super pretty, definitely a nude bronzy shade. We're just going to pick that up and put it on the apples of the cheeks and back. And then, once again, with that duo fiber brush, let's blend it all together, make it all look nice and seamless. What I think I wanna do is I wanna take this bronzing up another level. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. This was limited edition, so I don't think you can get it anymore. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. But that does suck because this one's amaze balls. I wish I would have bought two. Um, but this is the Shimmer Brick in the shade Sandstone. Look at this. Dirty Ho. Literally, she is a dirty hoe, but it's so pretty. I think, honestly, a duo fiber brush is the best way to apply this. And I don't have one clean. You it is. So we're just going to dive on in here. And we're just going to apply it all over. Yes. Yes, queen. So the very last thing I want to do for the face, I think, is I want to highlight it. So let's highlight the shit out of our face. So we're going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Power in the shade Power? Powder in the shade Luminous Light. This is what she looks like. Gorgeous. This is a great shade if you want to look like you are just beaming from within. And I kind of want to do that. I kind of just want to look like I am just naturally an angel sent from above. I'm just using a Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush in F35 for reference. And we are just going to shade the tops of our cheekbones. Look at that. Mm, mm. Mm. Let's put it right here on the tip of our nose and on our forehead. Cupid's bow makes our pout look a little bit more emphasized and down on your chin. So what I want to do at this time is to just kind of melt everything into my face and I'll probably do this a couple more times. But what I'm going to do or use to accomplish that is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. This stuff is amazeballs, it's the titties, it's the shiz, whatever you want to call it. 
it's amazing and you need to go get some and I do too because I'm almost out so I'm just going to take my third shower for the day Whew. it's got glycerin in it which is like an ingredient from the gall which is basically what binds all the makeup together and sucks it to your face Boom! I've attached the caterpillars to the face. Actually, I just wanted a really aggressive looking eyebrow and I've accomplished it. I have a really vague idea of what I want to do and I want it to be super bold and dramatic. So I'm going to be using my trusty tried and true palette. Z palette, I should say, that I built myself. I suggest doing palettes this way as opposed to continuously buying palette after palette after palette for like one or two shades that you absolutely love. When you can make a Z palette, Full of every single shade that you love so I will show you mine I have an extra large black Z palette this is what she looks like but for real though like isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen I love cool neutrals can you tell like they're my jam what I'm going to do I don't know let's play around let's play around because I have kind of like I said I have an small idea of what I want to do but it's not like set in stone like I'm up to revision so let's just play. Very first shade that I'm going to use is my tried and true transition shade, and that is going to be. So it is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. I should have known that. That's ridiculous. I've literally hit pan on it. It is this shade right here. It's a beautiful muted orange peachy color. That's the best way to describe it. And I'm just going to take that Peach Smoothie shade and apply it to the crease area. So I'm going to be taking MAC Saddle, and that is this shade right here. We're just going to continuously darken up this crease area. We're going to do the exact same thing, same brush, same idea, and we're going to be use this shade right here. That is Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. Beautiful, like, orange, red-brown shade made from the god. It's such a beautiful, universal transition shade. Looks great on light and dark skin tones, and anyone in between. What I want to do, I think, <laughs> is I'm going to take a super dark, like maybe even like a black shade, like a dark brown black shade. I think we're going to do black. Let's do black. Why not do black? There's no rules. It's brown. So let's do the exact same thing. Let's halo ourselves a black. Maybe we'll do some sparkle. Ooh, girl, we're getting somewhere. So I'm going to take Makeup Geek Corrupt, this black shade right here. And let's just start off slow. Slow and keep her low. That's my motto. Stay in the crease. Do not drag it up any higher. So I'm going to take this Morphe S28 brush. I'm going to dive into the Anastasia Beverly Hills pink champagne color right there. I want to use one of these crazy colors right here. And I think the one that I'm really drawn toward is this one. And this one is called Poolside. It's a shade by Makeup Geek. Well, I want to take one of these larger Morphe pencil brushes, and it's the S20 brush. I want to put that in my inner corner, because why the hell not? So, there's no rhyme or reason. Let's just put her in. I think we're going to need a lot. Isn't this just like too much fun? It's too much. What I want to do is take a little bit of the shade right beside that, this one, and it's called Dragonfly. It's kind of like a blue green or like a sea foam green. I just want to continuously lighten up the blue area. We're going to highlight right in here underneath the brow bone. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Banana Powder right here on a Royal and Lang Nickel BX80 brush and we're just going to take it directly under the brow but I'm going to go in with MAC Shroom finder here MAC Shroom right there and I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye right on top of that blue color that we put on I think I want to do a really nice bitchin wing for this look and so I'm going to use the Makeup Forever ink eyeliner for that. So let's go ahead and do underneath here, our lower lash line. So let's go ahead and start with the MAC Saddle shade. I'm going to apply that with a MAC 212 brush. Now what I would like to do is I would like to take this Sigma 
pencil brush, the E30 brush, and I would like to go in with the same Cocoa Bear shade that we used as our transition up here. We're going to line our water lines with the Ardency in Monster Coal Liner. The next thing I want to start with the lashes. If I'm going to prom, I want these lashes to be able to carry me away, like fly away from all the haters who think I have on too much makeup because they're ugly and they can't handle it, or just fly away if it sucks. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish here, and I hope these do it. If not, we're still going to rock with it because it's what I'm going to have glued to my face. I'm going to go ahead and do a nude lip, okay? So the liner that I want to use is matte. Soar. Ooh, yes. So I'm going to take Cavon D's bow and arrow. Yeah. So this is it. This is literally the entire tutorial. I had fun with this. I hope you did too. Yeah, if you guys liked this tutorial, if you liked hanging out with me for this time period, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. Just go ahead, hit her. She's right there. Right there. Like literally. Right there. Give her a little. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, come hang out with me more. We have more fun like this all the time. Yeah. So, that's it. I'm done. I'm rambling at this point. I need to go. I need to go deal with whatever the hell is going on in my living room. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much. Thank you to the very few of those that actually hang out on a weekly basis with me. You guys are awesome. I love you. You know who you are. Um... And for those who are going to prom, have the night of your life, the time of your life, and don't let anybody ruin it like I did, because you will regret it in the future, okay? So, yeah, that's it. Have a great day or night wherever you guys are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!